Um, no, language is fun. I like switching words around. Language is fun. Um, language is fun because just slightly changing one word can change the entire idea of something. I'll give you an example. If I say Catwoman, we all think the same thing. Catwoman, she's hot, sexy, mask, tails, tits, tails and tits. Tail, it sounds like a fucking store in the Midwest owned by some serial killer. Tails and tits. Can I get uh, some tits, please? Um, no, but uh, that's it. You think of Catwoman, she's hot. Then I can change it and just say Cat Lady. Cat Lady is a whole new. That's just the fucking. That's the old the hag next door who smokes a bunch of cigarettes. Her kids can't handle it, so they leave. Her husband's dead, but he's still on the couch, and she's the fucking at least a million cats in her house. It's like that's fucking Cat Lady. You want to fuck Catwoman? You want Cat Lady to fucking die? Language is fun. Sometimes, sometimes you have to like bob and weave to find the right words to say something because you don't want to offend someone. People are so offended nowadays. So you know, in my, in my during the day I work, I work in a pharmacy, and there's a little area when people are getting new medication. They come in, and the pharmacist goes over their new medication with them. It's a consultation room. They go over the consultation, you know. And I'm, sometimes I sit there and I work. And one day, this pharmacist was going over this medication. It was a vaginal cream with this woman, and he's trying to explain to her how to take it. He's got to be sensitive and, you know, not a fender. Well, you know, you just, he's going over, oh, yeah, there's a, in the package, there's instructions, there's an applicator, you just take it and fill it, and you just, you just get, what do you, I don't understand. Well, you, you just take the thing and just read the, and then you just apply it where the, I don't I swear to God, you just want to be like, just fucking rub it on your pussy, Jesus. You just, there's the app, just shove it up your cunt, that's all you got to do. Jesus. But you can't say that, you know. Well, you couldn't. Um... Then there are other times where you you so you can say anything you want. You're searching for just the perfect thing to say. You want the perfect right thing to say. You just can't find it. Like you just can't. Like sometimes you want to. Sometimes you want. Sometimes you just really have to take a shit really badly. And to just say, hey guys, I gotta take a shit, is such an understatement. And by the way, I don't know why you're announcing it to all your friends. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have to take a shit. That's such a guy thing. Guys do. I seriously hope that's a guy thing. I hope girls don't do that. Like, oh my God, Christy, I have to take the biggest dump right now. When I get home, my toilet does not know the night it's about to have. I swear, I hope that's a guy thing. Please let it be a guy thing, please, I don't want that. But you can't, you're trying to think of the right thing to say. What do I say? How can I get this idea across? You can't say, you just, I, dude, oh my God, I gotta shit, I just, I gotta shit things. I, that's the best thing you can come up with. By the way, when it comes to language, am I the only one who thinks the letter Q in the alphabet comes way too fucking early? <laughs> Hanging out with R and S and T. No, no, no. You need to be with X and Y and W. Get the fuck. Don't Q me right now. What are you thinking? <laughs> um, I was recently in New York and I lost my wallet. And I realized... That is probably the time when you are least in the mood for jokes, is when you think you've lost your wallet. And think, when you think you've lost your wallet, that's like, that's a big burden. It's a big like, oh fuck me, like, you just take it so much. And people always give you shit, well did you look in your pocket? Yeah, look in my fucking pocket, what's wrong with you? Jesus fucking, just leave, mom. <laughs> um, New York was super cold, it was freezing. And I'm standing on a corner. I'm from LA. I'm used to the fucking heat, it's just constant heat. And I'm in the I'm, I'm standing on a corner waiting for a light. And there's a girl next to me, and I'm so amazed at how cold it is. I need to get that off my chest. And she takes that as me like hitting on her. And which I totally wasn't. I'm just standing there, I'm going, it is really cold tonight. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> I'm allergic to asparagus. She's like, what? It's like I'm sorry, I thought we were just saying random things about ourselves. Like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm like, look, lady, I wasn't hitting on you. It's fucking cold. I just gotta get that off my chest. It's like, no, you know, it's night. It's cold, it's dark. I'm like, yeah, I totally understand. Don't worry about it. So, like, are we gonna fuck or what? <laughs> that's what, that's seriously what most guys think about is just having sex. How can I get sex? How can I get, how can I just the fucking every girl, every girl you see, no, yes, yes, no, yes, no, ugh, yes, no, yes. 
And that's the same thing in school. Everybody, this is a young crowd. You're all in school. That's the first day of any semester in college. This is the first day of any semester in college. You just, the professor's lecturing, you couldn't give less of a shit. You're just looking around the room playing, who do I want to fuck, right? Just, look at her. Look at, okay, that's an Asian dude. Okay. All right, that's my time, guys. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.